and welcome to today's video. Kind of filled up this little bag here with empties and I want to get rid of them. And last time I got rid of them without filming an empties and all you guys suddenly said, oh, I would really like to see an empties like the day after I bin these. So um, today I am going to quickly film that for you. I don't really know if like empties are still like a done thing on YouTube, but if you guys enjoy them, I'm more than happy to do them, so just let me know. And if you guys don't enjoy them, then I'll probably just update you on Snapchat as to what I think of each product when I finish them. So follow me on Snapchat, it's a little obsessed. Um, but let's get started. The first item I'm going to start with is so grubby, and I don't even know how this happened. Um, maybe I was a bit careless with it because I knew it was coming to an end. Bondi Sands um, Self Tanning Lotion, medium, sl light slash medium. I've spoken about this quite a lot recently, so I'm probably not going to go too in depth. I love this fake tan. It's actually what I've got on today. I applied it last night. I love how this fades more than anything. It just fades really beautifully, and I would highly recommend this tan if you're looking for one. It's also like fairly affordable as well. I think it's like £15. Pounds. There's actually very little makeup in here. I've just had a look in my bag, and there's like no makeup. Um, I also finished the dark lotion. I finished the dark lotion before I finished the light one, I think. Um, love this again, same as before, just slightly darker. I personally have been enjoying the light one and just adding that like, two layers if I need to but the dark one is incre incredible as well. On to hair, something I spoke about in my last video or two videos ago was Daveness. I love this shampoo and conditioner so much. They are so so good. It's the Your Hair Assistant Prep Shampoo. Um, amazing. I have really greasy roots and really dry ends. This helped that massively. And since I finished this, I honestly have just had like bad hair day after bad hair day after bad hair day. Um, so I feel like I need to up my shampoo game again. And I'm probably going to repurchase this. I just adored this so much. And if you are looking for a good shampoo, then I would really recommend it. It isn't as cheap as Tresemme or something like that, obviously. But... It's pretty and amazing quality. Something else I finished is this conditioner from Bumble and Bumble. Um, it looks like I still got product inside, but I actually don't. Um, it's just like the way that the bottle's printed. Really liked this, but I don't really think that there's like that much difference from conditioner to conditioner. Maybe some conditioners don't do that much, but as long as you've got a good conditioner, then I don't think there's that much of a huge difference but this one is really nice and I would definitely reuse it. It says it's a feather light oil, helps soothe and silken, tame, defrizz, detangle and protect and I did really like this one. I also finished a Batiste dry shampoo. Batiste dry shampoo is my favourite. I don't really have a lot else to say about it. I have used loads of other dry shampoo and nothing compares. And then my Balmain silk perfume which so I've had this for a little while and at first I was like massively confused by it. I didn't know if it was just a like oil for your hair. Or no, a perfume for your hair. I've got like a tiny bit left. And this does smell amazing. But in my opinion, it's an oil for your hair. And like it is. It's got like loads of oils in it. Not loads, a couple, three or four. Um, and it was really, really nice. It smells incredible. I don't know how much it is, where you would get it, anything like that. But if it's like reasonably priced, then I'd actually recommend it just because your hair smells incredible after using this. And it was quite a nice hair oil, really good at detangling. Lastly with hair, and I actually haven't quite finished this, but since I'm going to finish it within the next two or three days, I thought I might as well just throw it into this empties. And it's the Fudge Light Headed Hair Oil. Really like this. I'm quite a fan of, um, like, spray oils. Because my hair's quite fine, it's kind of doesn't weigh my hair down as much and, and I can disperse it evenly um, all over because I kind of get like this part of my hair gets knotty and sometimes I need a little bit of oil in there but um, I don't want to put like a big blob so like one fine spray I think really helps um, and really liked this like it's super affordable and out of like, the fudge range this is probably my favourite product. I've then finished two shaving gels and um, they look massively grubby I'm so sorry but they've obviously been in my bath for a little while. Um, and like in London the water's so hard that everything gets really like yucky. Um, but this is a Shave Works Pearl Souffle. This was nice but it's like fairly expensive I think in compared to like normal shaving cream. You get 150ml in this and 200ml in this so a little bit more in the, in the Gillette one. I liked this. I probably wouldn't repurchase. I quite like the foaminess of this one because it's got a pump and the way it kind of comes out but 
Um, if you are looking for something a little bit fancier, then this this was a nice one. Like it wasn't bad, just probably not one I would repurchase because of the price. And then Gillette Satin Care. Again, like I don't always have shaving cream. Sometimes I just use some conditioner. Or actually, I find that moisturizer works quite well as well. But this one was really good, just like all the Gillette um, shaving creams are, in my opinion. I like the smell of this one, and it goes with my Violet Swell um, shaver, razor, razor. Um, which again, I'm a fan of. Which again, I really like. Um, would repurchase 100%, but not necessarily like straight away, just every now and then. Particularly in summer, I quite like shaving creams because my legs sometimes get irritated and this kind of like causes that little bit of barrier, stops the irritation and kind of doesn't dry out my legs as much, I think. One bath product that I finished is the Nils Yard Seaweed and Arnica foaming bath. I love Nils Yard foaming bath sort of products. This one, I was not a fan of the smell. I don't know why, maybe it's the Arnica. I don't know what Arnica is. Maybe I should, but I don't. Yeah, and it was just quite, quite earthy. And like, typically I'm quite good with like naturally scents. I don't really need it to smell of like, fl like sweet stuff. But this one to me was a little bit earthy. A bit too like, like natural smelling. Um, so I probably wouldn't repurchase this one, but would definitely get another scent. For skincare, a product that seems to have lost forever is my Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. Um, it's funny because I typically hate my micellar waters, um, but I've made it through the whole of this one. Apparently it's got 200 uses, so that probably explains why. I don't use this very much. Um, I probably use it about four times a week. But I don't use it to cleanse my whole face. I typically use it like the next morning if I've got any like mascara residue for some reason. If I messed up my eyeliner and I need to just kind of take a little bit off. If I hate my foundation, I need to remove it quickly. Then this is something I will reach for. Occasionally, I'm not gonna lie, I do use this in the evening. But it is quite rare, maybe like once a month, twice a month. Um, and I would rather use this than go to bed with makeup on, but obviously it's better to actually cleanse your face. I would repurchase this for sure, but I've got a simple one which I'm gonna use for now, I think. But I like the size of this one. It hasn't got any perfume in it, and you can use it on your eyes and it doesn't sting, um, which is fab in my opinion. I prefer this to Bioderma, because Bioderma dries out my skin like an absolute bitch. And don't get me wrong, this one does dry out slightly, but nowhere near as much as Bioderma. Two more things and then that's the end of this video. Um, I will start with my Exaggerate Lip Liner from Rimmel. I rave about this lipstick, this lip liner even, all the time. If you're ever wondering what nude I have on my lips, it's probably this with like some sort of gloss or some sort of lipstick on top. Um, today it's actually not this because I couldn't find my new version of this. This can be like really difficult to find. Um, I found my last ones in Wilco um, and if you're in the UK I'd recommend looking there. For some reason they tend to have a decent stock but Boots and Super Drugs just like never have it. They're always out of stock and it is because it's such a good lip liner in my opinion. I don't know if I mentioned it's an East End snob. It's kind of a my lip but better, slightly rosy, a slightly um, nude. I wear it with pretty much like any nudie pinky lipstick I or gloss as well and I rarely wear lipstick without this liner if it's a nude um, and hands down my favourite. Everyone compares it to Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, this is better in my opinion. And finally my Roger and Gallet Fleur de Faguer perfume. I'm so sad this has finished. Yeah it had, oh. Oh, one more day smelling of this. This was such a good perfume. I actually managed to break the bottle. Not sure how that happened. But Roger and Gallagher is possibly quite typically a kind of older brand. But this perfume is amazing in my opinion. It smells of figs as the name suggests. Awful at describing scents. I don't know what else it smells like, but I love it. It's quite sexy. It's not too overpowering. I think you can wear it in the day or in the evening. Just an amazing perfume in my opinion. And it's available in like M&S, I want to say. Maybe not. I would definitely leave a link to it below because I know that not everyone knows where to get Roger and Galley, myself included. Um, but I have a lot of perfumes at the moment, but I'm going to consider repurchasing this because it's probably my favourite ever perfume which is a big statement, but I just adore it so, so much. And that's the end of my empties. I hope you enjoyed it and it wasn't too boring or too quick or too long, that sort of stuff. Um, but I shall be back next week for drugstore week. 
hopefully, depending on when I get up this video, there might be another video up this week. Might not be. Unsure. Um, but it is Drugstore Week next week, which I'm super excited about, and I know lots of you love Drugstore Week, so hopefully you're as excited as I am. And I shall see you all very soon. My Snapchat, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, and my blog are all below. And I shall see you soon. Bye!